Hot Ones has taken the internet by storm. Who doesn't love watching celebs writhe in pain as they eat spicy wings? Like every popular show, there are plenty of behind-the-scenes secrets viewers aren't privy to, and lucky for you, we're dishing up the untold truth you won't find anywhere else. Sure, you might dabble in sriracha or douse a meal in Tabasco from time to time, but have you ever heard of ghost peppers? No? Well, if reading the word ghost caused a spooky shiver to climb your spine, that feeling's warranted. The Scoville scale measures the pungency of chili peppers and other sweat-inducing eggs. The more droplets of sweat falling off foreheads means more Scoville heat units, and the sauces on hot ones reach the top of the scale. Jalapenos, for example, register anywhere between 2,500 and 10,000 Scoville units. While that sounds like plenty, they don't even scratch the surface. Take the Carolina Reaper, which breaches the 2 million Scoville unit mark. As the show's guests make their way through the 10 increasingly spicy wings, most of them are introduced to the Reaper at some point. Hot Ones even has their own line of sauces, aptly named the Hot Ones Hot Sauces. Some are sweet and mild, but others are brutal mixtures of chipotle peppers, ghost peppers, habanero peppers, and anything else hell cooks up. The very final mouthburn on wing number 10 comes courtesy of Hot Ones The Last Dab Redux, which contains Pepper X, the world's hottest, at over 3 million Scoville units. How exactly does one go about embodying the very spirit of Hot Ones? Well, confronting a Carolina Reaper head-on is one surefire way, and the show's host, Sean Evans, stepped into that Thunderdome battle and left with a victory under his belt. But that capital V didn't come without battle scars. Evans documented the firefight alongside Klaus Pilgard, a spice-loving Danish entertainer known as Chili Klaus. Klaus is so obsessed with the hot stuff that Evans describes him as Chili Klaus is the Michael Jordan of hot chilies. So he brought Chili Klaus along for a Carolina Reaper eating extravaganza at Jimmy's number 43 in New York City's East Village to stare the spice equivalent of death straight in the eyes. Within seconds of swallowing the peppers, well, this happens. <sighs> This is very hot. <laughs> in the end, however, they come out on top, and Evans, deservedly, now sits atop the throne of Hot Ones with a chili-encrusted crown upon his head. Not bad for a guy who claims that, outside of his job, he doesn't even really like spicy food. When faced with a near-impossible task, human nature tells us to find the easiest approach. Many times, some kind of shortcut or wiggle room presents itself, allowing for an easier experience. Unfortunately for Evans' guests, Hot Ones is well aware of this urge, so they make sure the word easy doesn't exist in the show's vocabulary. Can I just take my shirt off just for a second? Yeah, go ahead. It's like a f I got it. I got a mic. I, I know what you're doing. When dressing the wings, 20 plastic bowls are filled with the sauces. That's 10 for Evans and 10 for the guest. Each wing takes a full force bath in its sauce, ensuring every millimeter of meat wears it proudly. Plus, the last wing always receives an extra dash, known intimidatingly as the last dab. It's not long before the truth hits each guest. There's no hope, plain and simple. Evans also admits the crew ignores blatant warnings on the bottles such as just one drop or dilute with water. Those who dare to dabble better just put their adult pants on and take the leap. Come on! Go! Get some, baby! It's hard to know if a show's concept will work until a team breathes life into it. Countless examples of failed projects exist, proving hours of hard work, sleepless nights, and big dreams don't always equal success. When Hot Ones gambled on the idea of burning up celebrity mouths while answering questions, they had no clue if they were onto something special. That is, until rapper Machine Gun Kelly took the hot seat. Evans was still new to the Hot Ones experience when the rapper accepted the invite to sit down and chat. The interview flowed smoothly for a while, but at one point, Kelly completely lost his composure, and Evans instantly knew Hot Ones had something special sitting in its lap. Oh my god, oh Oh! 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 <laughs> Kelly paced around while screaming and sweating profusely as Evans grinned with excitement. Hot Ones arrived with a bang, and it was here to stay. In a world inundated with boring cookie-cutter celebrity interviews, this is good television. To snag as many YouTube views as possible, users must upload content people crave. Sure, adorable animals and cooking tutorials seem to garner plenty of traction nowadays, but there's another key component that's bringing numbers up into the millions — Kevin Hart. Give me, a, give me a water, man! See me over here struggling? <laughs> huh? Hart's popularity exploded over the last few years, so Hot Ones pounced on the opportunity to sit down with the Hollywood heavy hitter and watch him take on the infamous Hot Ones challenge. To say the YouTube views quickly racked up is a gross understatement, and Hot Ones has over 20 million views to prove it. That's right, over 20 million people tuned in at some point to watch the comedian struggle through all 10 meaty morsels of mayhem. He made it, but not without a whole lot of laughter. Winces, sniffles, and of course, milk. By the end, the intensity even forced Hart to admit he felt, quote, drunk. I'm drunk. I'm, like, I'm drunk. 
I'm drunk or I, something ain't right. Something is off, brother. Something is off right now. It's nice to know a guy who seems to conquer everything thrown at him is human just like the rest of us. Inviting Gordon Ramsay onto a show centered around food naturally causes anxiety in everyone involved. Onboarding a man known completely for eviscerating the quality of meals he eats likely spells trouble, but Hot Ones knew they needed to sit down with the Sultan of Slurs to test his tolerance. Running a successful kitchen, like Ramsay does, involves meticulous preparation, and boy, he arrives prepared. While most guests settle for the water and milk provided, Ramsay brought donuts, lemon and lime juice, and antacid. He's ready to rumble. Of course, going an entire episode without some kind of insult just isn't Ramsay's style. At one point, he claims the wings are getting, quote, smaller and smaller. He even compares one to his grandfather's big toe. Yeah, good luck getting that image out of your head. But he puts his disdain aside for one sauce in particular, the Hot Ones Las Caliente sauce. About 10 minutes into the interview, he says, mm. Oh, that's quite nice. I like that. You do? That, yeah, that's quite zesty. That's, that's fruity. I like that. Well done, Hot Ones. You please the unpleasable. Sometimes all the water, milk, and calculated breaths in the world just aren't enough to stop the solar plumes erupting in guests' mouths. Although a trip to the emergency room is always a last resort, when push comes to shove, the help of a professional hospital staff certainly brings about a proper peace of mind. Just ask Chrissy Teigen. A self-proclaimed hot wing freak, Teigen confidently spoke with Evans, fully aware of the spice mountain she needed to traverse. She handled the interview like a champion, answering his questions with her signature enthusiasm until she reached the infamous sauce called the bomb. She toughed it out, but the next day found herself sitting in her throat doctor's office with an overly chaffed tongue and uncontrollable twitches in both her eyebrows. She credits the disaster to overindulging on way too many salty Ruffles chips the night before, which left her tongue raw. Combine a raw tongue with the hot sauce and yikes. Like any celebrity with a huge social media following, she took to Twitter to share her woes. She admitted to needing a two-week dose of CBD pills to end her eyebrow twitches, which she attributed to the bomb. These ones, it's fine until you talk. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing we made an interview show around this, mm -hmm. you know? One solidifying mark of making it big is an invite to a popular late-night talk show. It's easy to imagine that Evans never thought of an idea like Hot Ones would land him sitting across from an A-list celebrity host, sharing the wings from the show. But Stephen Colbert welcomed him with open arms and nerves of steel. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Due to the show's time constraints, Evans and Colbert only took on four wings, but they're a fearsome four. Just like every Hot One show, each wing came fully sauced, and Colbert dove in head first. He took on the first two relatively easy, but new discomfort awaited him. Da Bomb, the third wing, instantly alerted Colbert to the sheer madness of Hot Ones. But like the late-night king he is, Colbert grabbed a bottle of Blair's Megadeth sauce with liquid rage, added that ulcer-inducing final dab onto wing number four, and shoveled it into his mouth. His frantic pacing around the studio afterwards gave viewers an idea of the hell he was experiencing. Evans probably shouldn't expect an invite back anytime soon. Oh, and I want to ask God whatever I did to deserve this, please forgive me. When a big budget film is in the works, the actors involved are sworn to secrecy. Studios can't risk spoiling huge plot points for the sake of the viewer's experience. And they take those non disclosure agreements very seriously. So when Scarlett Johansson appeared on Hot Ones, Evans jumped at the chance to grill the Avengers Endgame star about the blockbuster film while her guard was down. Few franchises have dedicated fans drooling over release dates like Marvel. Evans knows that, and he puts Johansson through an intense bout of questioning in hopes that she'd shatter her non-disclosure agreement into a million pieces. Captain America will die. <laughs> Goose, Goose the cat will ultimately be the key to saving everybody. <laughs> The questions go on and on. Will Thanos fall victim to Ant-Man's tricks to trap him in the quantum realm? Is Loki actually alive? Although Johansson nods her head in agreement throughout the questions, one can only assume she was simply trying to stifle the pain. Such a seasoned actor would never spoil the fun for all of her fans, right? Just because the desire to plow through all ten wings burns in each guest, not all have what it takes, and some find themselves holding a not-so-coveted spot in the Hot Ones Hall of Shame. Comedian Mike Epps, rapper Tony Yayo, and DJ Khaled, a guest whose infamous promise I promise you if I stop, doesn't mean I gave up. <laughs> yes, it does. Mm -mm. By definition. Has reached near meme status in the eyes of Hot Ones fans, forever hang in the metaphorical hall. But there's another quitter who might surprise you. After the eighth wing, comedian Jim Gaffigan threw in the towel. This, coming from a guy who builds many of his comedy routines on his love of food, was a shocker. Evans, feeling an obligation to continue eating while asking the last few questions, endured the last two. Surprisingly, Gaffigan wasn't choking down milk and wiping sweat from his face like one might expect from a person who admits defeat from a Scoville onslaught. So that's… kind of a win? 
Maybe? Jim, are you out? I'm out. F*** this. Ah. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Match videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.